Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 21 video where today I'm going to be sharing with you what I think my favorite custom tactics of the year were. Now, obviously, we've done a lot of custom tactic videos, a lot of different videos all throughout the year uh, regarding lots of different formations. At the moment, I'm just experimenting with lots of fun formations, just trying some things out. Not playing FIFA a whole lot, just kind of playing when I feel like it. So when I'm playing, I'm just kind of trying some new things out. But I wanted to share with you what I think of all the videos we've done, of all the tactics we've tried, what I think the best the undisputed number one best tactics were for me this year. I think if you guys have followed the channel for quite a long time, you'll probably know what they are. But for anybody who doesn't, you can try these out and see if you have a lot of fun with them. Obviously, at this fun time of the year with all this great new fun content. So without further ado, going into that formation, it is the 4 triple 2 This was, for me personally, uh, my favorite formation of the year. There was lots of good formations that were different. At different times of the year that were very very good you know i love the 4411 I, that's one of my other favorite formations but i think for me the 4 triple 2 has to be my favorite formation it works so well and just worked just suit, suited me I, I played with it since around about august when i was on the fifa 21 beta uh, last august and i played with it and just fell in love with it straight away and, and ever since it's been my favorite formation and always my go-to formation so I love this formation to bits. I think it's brilliant. It suits the way I like to play. And that's really important when you're playing FIFA. And something going into next year as well. Anyone who's going to be playing and looking for tactics and stuff, obviously we'll be doing lots of videos and whatnot there. But pick a formation that you like and try and stick with it. Even if you experiment with different formations, always have this your favorite formation set up in one of your game plan slots so you can always go back to it. But for me, the 4 2 was the go-to. And these were the tactics that I just worked for me pretty much all year long obviously we tweak them a little bit here and there depending on the time of the year depending on patches depending on certain meta and stuff but these were kind of the ones that really worked for me all the time uh, regardless of formation uh, regardless of, of players and personnel and whatnot so it went balanced on the defensive style i don't i didn't like to play on a press it just didn't work for me it's not doesn't suit the way I like to play because I'm not the best defender um, in the world. It's definitely my attacking is my strong part of my game, not my defending. So I can't really afford to play on a press, for example, and for players to be out of position because uh, the way I defend is quite aggressive anyway. So I like to kind of be quite aggressive in the tackle and whatnot. So I don't need to play on a press because I kind of press manually quite well. So playing on defensive just allows me, my, my team, to keep good shape. Defensive width. I don't really see any benefit to ever moving this above sort of standard sort of four to six. Um, I don't think there's any benefit really to going super, super wide or super, super narrow. So I think kind of keeping it between four and six is always the way you should go. I typically leave in all formations. I typically leave it on five. The depth, this is something that changed all throughout the year. Um, at the start of the year, I was playing on sort of around about four or five. And then as the year progressed and I got more confident with the game, um, and kind of confident with not the meta but because I didn't really play to, to the broken meta and stuff but as I got more confident with playing the game I went on a higher depth I eventually tried going on sort of up around about 9 or 10 uh, just a bit too crazy especially towards the latter end of the year sort of around about now um, because everybody has such insane teams and really it's only the super hardcore players that are left playing um, everybody's very very good so if you give them too much space you go too crazy uh, you will obviously leave too much space and it will be too easy for, you, for your opponent. So I found seven was around the depth that worked for me. I was able to still press quite well and get up the pitch quite fast, but still was able to be relatively solid defensively and not really leak too many goals. Offensive style fast build-up was something that came really in the second, the latter part of the year. Um, at the start of the year, I was using long ball all the time and it was super effective and worked extremely well. I know a lot of you guys that watched our tactic videos um enjoyed that as well and it works super super well but eventually i tried fast build up now fast build up only works well for certain formations the, the formations are a bit more compact um it works better in and the four triple two is one of those that it works very very well in so you can use long ball you can use fast build up. i found fast build up also suited my play style a little bit better in this formation so i think for this formation fast build up was just a better option and then the offensive width uh, for this formation uh, around about seven to match the depth was was very very effective not going too wide because i want the the cams to be on free roam as you'll see in the instructions so i don't want them to be too wide but i want them to be a little bit of width because if it goes too narrow it can be a bit too predictable when you're attacking and then players in the box corners and free kicks pretty much the standard stuff that we use across all of our formations 
So moving into the instructions, Yashin, the goalkeeper, of course, is on comes crosses and sweep keeper. The same as for all of our formations. In terms of the two centre-backs, those two guys I like to have on conservative interceptions. Uh, it would just work the best for, for this. You know, I didn't really want my two centre-backs to be diving and jumping into tackles. So it worked very, very well for that. The two full-backs that we had, they were both on stay back while attacking. They were on conservative interceptions, but they were on overlap when they did go forwards. Now, the reason why they were on overlap is because, again, the cams like to drift, so sometimes they'll drift in. When the fullbacks do go forwards, they don't go forwards like wingers, but they do go forwards a little bit. I do want them to stay on the outside rather than on the inside. Conservative interceptions, this is a little trick that allows them to get back into position a lot faster than normal. So if you have them on conservative interceptions, they get back into position a little bit quicker and stay back while attacking because this really depends on the way you like to play. But for me, stay back worked well. I like to have that solid back four because the two central midfielders, Balak, the two central midfielders, Balak and Kimmich, both of these guys we had on cut passing lanes, we had on cover center, but we left them on balanced attack. Now, if we would have had these guys on stay back while attacking, you could have then had the fullbacks to go for, well, not go forward, but you could have them on, on balanced. But for me, I had them on balanced, uh, the two midfielders, because I found it became a little bit tricky from time to time. If Insigne and Jota, let's say they drifted wide because we have them on free roam, uh, it could be a little bit tricky to link up from the midfield to the attackers. So I decided to have Kimmich and Balak on balance because when they're on stay back while attacking, a little bit difficult to link up the midfield and attack. So attack sometimes broke down. So having these guys on balance allowed them to get forwards. And obviously having the fullback staying back allowed us to keep the good shape. And obviously Kimmich and Balak, good box-to-box -box midfielders. So they have defensive capabilities as well. As for the two cams, both of them are on get into the box for crosses. And both of them will be on free roam. Get into the box crosses just because they can they can get in. I want more players uh, in the box for scoring opportunities. Have the rest of the guys back to obviously cover the counter attack and free roam. As we've ex we've already explained many many times, it's the best and probably in my opinion the most important instruction. It just allows them to drift all over the pitch and just become very unpredictable. And unpredictability is the key to being a good attacker. You don't want to be predictable. You want to be unpredictable. And having free roam on these guys allows them to drift all over and make it very difficult for your opponent to mark and defend them. And then Immobile and Ronaldo up top. Now your most potent striker wants to be on stay, uh, getting behind and stay central. And your most kind of like creative uh, striker wants to really be on false nine and stay central. Um, you could also, if you'd like to, you could have them on, uh, on stay back, uh, on stay forwards. Um, it's just not really for me. I, I like to have them on uh, on basic defensive support. But you have your most creative guy on false nine, so he drops in. And just so when Kimmich and Balak do move forwards, they, they just have an easier pass into someone like Immobile, who's the false nine. Just kind of drops in a little bit behind Ronaldo and just can, can link up between Insigne, Jota, Ronaldo and the midfielders. Just have that link between everybody and Ronaldo, obviously your most potent striker. Um, who's going to be the one banging in the goals. But the guy who plays on false nine does also bang in lots of goals. I remember early in the year playing with Cruyff, and he was my false nine, and he scored more goals than the other strikers. So the guy with the false nine will still score plenty of goals. But these were my four triple two tactics. These, for me, in my opinion, were my favorite tactics this year in FIFA 21. These are the ones that I used a lot, pretty much all year. Uh, tweaked them a little bit here and there, but I think these were my favorite. If anybody asks... Who are you, what were your favorite tactics and formations? This would be what I would give you. So if you do want to try this out, make sure you do go and try it out and let me know what you think of it. Obviously, it is that time of the year where content is slowing. So I think we'll probably maybe be dropping down to maybe one upload a week. Obviously, kind of just waiting for the new games come in the next couple of months. So if there is any content you would like us to make, do let us know down in the comment section. Do subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But that is all for today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.